Hey, so how you doing? So I wanted to do a small video on the, the rotating screen and how I got it to work. So I'm just going to show you really quick what I'm talking about here. So if I want to play something that's vertical, so I have like a pinball section, uh, and I want this to be my back glass, and I want this to be my uh, my pinball. Oh, Come over here and uh, hit the play button, and it'll put it into like a vertical mode. Um, any horizontal games? So yeah, I would be able to uh, use this to play as a uh, regular pinball. And then once you're done, go back to the, uh, the pinball menu. And uh, it'll, it'll zoom back out and then uh, after that uh, you go to Hypersmith. So what it is, it's a it's a motor that's hooked up to the back of the uh, of a of a round plate. Um, let, me, let me do something a little bit easier here. Um, and basically, uh, the motor has some stop switches, one at the bottom and one at the right. And it's, uh, there's a little rod that sticks out. So when it hits the stop switch, it stops. Uh, the same thing when it comes down. Yeah, let me uh, some more vertical games, and I'll show you how uh, how I did that. Uh, let's do like Dig Dug or something. Or Donkey Kong. Stuff that we know that is more vertical. Here we go. Here we go. So um, it'll rotate, and I'll hit the stop switch here, and it'll uh, it'll kill everything else. And then you can actually play your game in a real uh, authentic uh, vertical uh, display. So to get this to happen, I had to make some batch files because the uh, the motor hooks up by a uh, by USB. So let me let me exit this, and then I'll. I'll show people what I did here. Pause this for one second. All right, so as I'm sure most of you can appreciate, I've got two uh, two batch files. I uh, converted the batch files over to EFC files, but they're basically the same thing. You can uh, still use them. Uh, what the batch files do um, is they let me show you here. They will uh, set my, turn on my motors, set my speed, and tell it what direction to start heading into. Uh, so right here I have, uh, and then I rotate my screen in that direction. So there's three things. Uh, turn the motors on, set the speed, and uh, the direction. So uh, if I, Double click the vertical. It'll move the, sc the screen until it hits the stop switch, and then it stops it. Once I uh, once I want to do the horizontal, it's the same thing. It switches the screen layout, and then it hits the stop switch and it stops it. Uh, so you know, to get this to work, I needed to modify the main. Uh, uh, in in hyperspin, I needed to modify the main module. The, the AHK module that usually uh, runs it. So uh, in the module I put um, if the, uh, the angle doesn't equal zero, zero being horizontal, then I want to run vertical.exe. And after I exit the game, uh, every single time it will run the horizontal uh, exe, uh, even if it's not in vertical mode. If I just double click the horizontal, it's already in horizontal mode, it's already connected to the, uh, the switch, the, uh, it, it won't go. So therefore, it doesn't really matter if it runs the uh, horizontal. But if it's in vertical mode,
it's in vertical mode, hit the wrong one, um, then uh, the horizontal should uh, should push it back. And yeah, I mean that's pretty much how it is. So it's all controlled by the actual the actual AHK module. Or if I just want to call them before, like as a batch file before I run something, for example, like pinball, um, I would just call them before I run the, the pinball and that'll that'll move it out. Then it's it's uh it's pretty easy. Uh, I uh like I said it's all done by executables and batch files. This is it's a, a Pololu motor controller and stuff like that. So uh, P O L O L O U will uh they're the one that sells the actual motor and the controllers themselves, and they're high-geared motors, so uh, they can handle a lot of weight. Uh, if you put like a, uh, a Lazy Susan behind uh, the round board, um, it should be able to push the weight of the Lazy Susan for the monitor and such. But uh, you can always set the speed, make it go faster or slower, depending. It's, uh, it's actually kind of kind of cool. Uh, if anybody has any questions, just let me know. Thank you. And I just wanted to show a few uh, full view of what the actual arcade machine looked like. So this is it, basically uh, how I have it set up. Uh, it's stuck behind a couple other machines. So, but uh, yeah, it's uh, it's a nice build.